not surprised Dwayne Casey is on this list because, I mean, dude, are you surprised he's on a hot seats list? Like, I mean, I don't even feel like Dwayne Casey should be on a hot seats list. We know his time is coming up in Detroit. Like, this just feels like uh, we need to put five guys down on the list. Let's throw Dwayne Casey down because the Pistons are bad and they don't even know the situation. <laughs> I was kind of surprised to see Nick Nurse on it. Um, but to your question, I'm not surprised that Bleacher Report put him on there. Like, if you, you're just kind of like a, a casual like NBA fan and you look at the Pistons record and you look yeah. at the past three years, you're probably like, okay, Detroit's not winning anything under Dwayne Casey. Um, you know, they're not getting better. They're not really developing. Like, none of the players that they have drafted – have made, like, a massive improvement. Like, they've made, like, small improvements. Like, you know, Isaiah Stewart, you know, shooting three-pointers a little bit better. Um, Sadiq Bass trying to develop into a three-level score. Um, but, like, there hasn't been, like, a massive improvement. So that's probably where Bleacher Report is coming from. Not surprised by it, but I don't think he will get fired um, not this year and not next year. I think he'll be the coach next season. Ooh. You think we get two? How many more years do you think we get of Casey as the Pistons head coach? After we'll, this season, and then how much more? How many more years? I'm thinking of, we'll do the rest of this season, and then next season, then they'll probably look for a new coach. Okay. I, I, I just, I, I would find it really hard to believe for Troy Weaver to, you know, give him an extension and then fire him before the extension's up, you know? Yeah. And, I just feel like with Dwayne Casey, it's one of these things where Troy Weaver wants to give him – like, you wouldn't want to fire him now because there's so many injuries. It's not fair to Dwayne Casey. Like, yeah. we all have our gripes about Dwayne Casey as a head coach. I get it. But the fair thing to do would be to let him remain the head coach and let him see what he can do with a fully healthy roster. That is the only thing – because when the team has been healthy, you got him to the playoffs – when they had Blake Griffin. That's what Dwayne Casey did. So I think Troy Weaver is just saying, hey, I'm going to give you as much time as you need, but once this team is healthy and they're ready to compete, that is when your job is really on the line. Like, once they're healthy, we get, you got to do something. Yeah, like, I see a lot of the discourse among fans. Like, you know, he hasn't developed anything. Like, yeah. the, the team has – they're developing bad habits. Like, I don't want our young guys developing – you know, bad habits, but, like, give me a name that you would replace Casey with, and don't say Mark Jackson, you know, because it's not going to happen. Like, well, Mark, Mark Jackson isn't coming to Detroit. Like, you're not going to get him as a coach um, unless you're paying him, like, a, a stupid amount of money, and I doubt Tom Gores is going to do that. I, I think Tom Gores likes to win Casey a lot, and what a lot of Pistons fans fail to remember is – Tom Gores gets really close with every coach he's ever had. It took him three meetings to fire Stan Van Gundy. Well, he's he's not just going to let Dwayne Casey go because, you know, it's not working out. Like, if that was the case, he would have let him go next uh, last year. Yep. Like, he's going to probably let him finish out his contract. And when that time comes in 2025 – then they'll probably look for a coach. But it's, like I said, I, I see all these Pistons fans with the, the Mark Jacksons and stuff like that. It's just like, you're not getting Mark Jackson. <laughs>